All right, I got the electrical up and running on this, and I just wanted to go over a quick overview about how I did it. Um, there's some good written documentation out there, but uh, I would really like the video, so that's why I'm just going to show you real quick what I did and hopefully help some of you out there that uh, are going to take this on to get a better comprehension of how easy it is in reality to uh, what it looks like. So, uh, first thing is I just have my power supply and went ahead and just wired in a, a plug over to my surge protector over there for the time being and I made sure I was getting clean 120 volts running into it then on the front side here um, I just have a little terminal block and uh, I got two of the negative supply lines running to it and one of the positive indicated by two blacks and one red um, coming off one of the negatives is connected into the e-stop there and the e-stop also goes over here and then runs into port 10 on the gecko that's that green line the other black line coming off of here runs all the way over and runs into port 12 on the gecko drive and then the white line the hot side comes off of that power strip and runs all the way over to port 11 on the gecko now I did take my multimeter and put it on the terminals here or here and just check um, the voltage that you're getting out of it. You should be getting as close to 48 as possible. If not, there's a small little dial over here that you can turn. I mean very little to uh, increase or decrease the voltage. So I think I'm running at about 47.8 and when I got it it was around 47.5. So just a small little turn made it uh, closer to the rated voltage that it can produce. And over here is the four motors that I got hooked up, and I got one for each of the axes. And I went ahead and redid um, the solder cups, took them off, and then uh, put on some heat shrink tubing, as suggested by some guys that do this stuff, uh, just to uh, protect the wires. So it wasn't a big deal, but that's all I really changed out of that. And um, got it all hooked to my computer. The only other part that uh, you haven't seen yet would have been this uh, cable, the, the parallel cable that runs to the back of the computer and that's it so I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of a step of configuring this real quick before I get into that I just want to show you I do have the red light on now I could make the green light go on if I just went over here and changed this button over here it's called the charge pump when it's on it's expecting it to be hooked up to uh, the parallel cable and running into the computer if I flipped it to off it would go green and allow you to uh, do this without having any sort of extra software running just to make sure all your wiring is connected so it's in red now because I plan on connecting it to the computer shortly alright so I'm just going to demonstrate when I go ahead and open up the Mach 3 program you'll see that the charge pump will initiate and the motors will jump slightly and this will uh, swing over and go green so it should happen any second here and now the motors have all the holding torque applied you might be able to hear it and uh, up here on the screen uh, everything's just like you would see once you install it. I'll go ahead and hit this. It'll unstop the uh, emergency button so now I can go live and then the only other thing was I just loaded the XML file that was pr provided by Gecko into the directory of Mach 3 and it goes ahead and kind of uh, tunes it up for you so that everything should work for, for the most part from the get-go but uh, down here in the config file I'm going to motor tuning and uh, you can just click on any of the accesses and right now it's x-axis and uh, just use your directional keys and go ahead and play around with all your motors so you can test them all out here and make sure everything's working which I've done and uh, you can also go into here and adjust the velocity and excel but since there's a lot of more in-depth better knowledge people on this subject that have made videos I'll stop it right here but uh, that's it it's up and running and tested so now I can go ahead and get this equipment installed on the actual machine itself now I'm confident it's going to work right